Hi guys, my name is Anna. I'm a makeup educator and teacher specifically for people with hooded eyes and welcome to my channel. Today we have a really, really special assignment. Listen, I have more than 150 eyeshadow palettes, probably close to 180. I know, guilty, but we need to do something about it. We need to go through them. We need to declutter. We need to find out palettes that I want to give away, palettes that are too old to keep and maybe even expired and palettes that I cannot and never will say goodbye to. So come closer and let's get into it. So basically all of these are eyeshadows in no specific order whatsoever. As you can see, it's a mess. I have a ton of them. Let's start with the first one. Also important to mention, I have my Pat McGrath Mothership over there, as well as some of the Natasha Denona palettes here. I'm gonna open them up and show them to you, but I definitely am not decluttering any of these. Okay, so here's our first batch. Listen, I tend to put my favorite palettes or palettes that I use more often or more luxury palettes in that first drawer. So I can tell you, I will probably not declutter any of these, but we're here for some fun. We're here to look at the palettes. We're here to chat. So there's not gonna be any pressure. Let's start with this one right here. This is a palette by What's Up Beauty. It is a brand I have learned about and tried only this year, 2023. This is their Dragon Eye palette. This is their latest launch. And let me tell you, this is one of the most beautiful, exquisite, gorgeous eyeshadow formulations I have ever tried. These shimmers are all, or almost all of them are dual chromes and multi-chrome that are made in Italy. So the formula is amazing, as well as these mattes are super buttery and soft. Absolutely amazing formula, absolutely amazing shadows. I am not getting rid of this. I am getting good use out of it. And I'm gonna keep this palette. Next up, we got the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Dreams palette. This is the only Charlotte Tilbury palette I own. Um, not for any specific reason at all. They're just pretty pricey and they're pretty neutral. So I wanted to make sure that I want to invest in a palette I'm actually going to use. And boy, did I use all it, this one a lot. It has beautiful neutral tones, but it is for only four shades, it is super versatile. It can go really deep with this matte. I know you can't really see it in the pan, but it does go pretty deep on my skin tone. These shimmers are really, really glimmery. And when you use this palette, it's just really, it's just, you feel luxurious. You feel like you're on top of the world. So I highly recommend this specific palette. I know that the quality on some of the other shadows by Charlotte Tilbury may not be the same. I have not tried other palettes, so I don't know, but that's what I've heard. But I'm definitely keeping this guy. So good for travel, so lightweight. I love this. All right, I got the REM Beauty palette. This is also the only eyeshadow palette that I got from them. It's called Midnight Snack. And to be honest, I absolutely love, love the color story on this one. You might think that it's boring, but listen, I love neutrals and cool tones. I love taupey shimmers. And uh, this is not like the highest to the best quality by any means, but I can get a decent look out of this. Listen, when I'm in a hurry, I'm gonna do this one in the crease, this one to deepen up the outer corner, this one on the lid, maybe this light matte in the inner corner. I do not use this blue. It's not the best. It's just kind of like a weird shimmery texture also not this one i prefer if it's a black shade i prefer it to be a true matte yeah any look i create with this palette is actually it turns out really decent so i like it i am going to keep it i'm not going to declutter it it's also kind of cute for travel okay next up we got the anastasia beverly hills cosmos palette since their rebrand and their new launches uh, this is the only palette I gravitate towards to and I wanted to purchase. They have come out with several palettes, but this one, listen, oh my God, it stole my heart. It took me a little bit to buy it, but when I saw people create beautiful looks with these iridescent shimmers, and yes, the mattes are boring, they're warm, but at least we get a, a one cool tone purple and we get a black, so there's quite a lot of versatility but the shimmers are what we're here for they're so unique they're so sparkly they're so gorgeous it felt like something is coming back with this brand 
Um, but that is the only palette I picked up and I love it. I adore it. It's quite pricey. I think it's totally worth it and I'm keeping this one. I got two Give Beauty palettes. I worked with them. I love the brand. I purchase their stuff a lot. Uh, eyeshadow palettes are not my favorite products from the brand just because they have so much great brow, eye, and lip stuff and face stuff, actually. But um, this is a cute little quad if you're looking for something really easy um, to travel or just something very soft and everyday. These shimmers are not going to be sparkly or glittery. They're just going to be soft, good, um, really um mature lids friendly shimmers so this is a warm uh palette that i use a little less just because there's not a lot of dimension in these mattes this palette is more cool toned and it's called danger zone and this uh, is the one that i personally prefer out of the two again because there's cool tones there isn't a shimmer in this palette i know this looks like there are sparkles in it but it actually blends out to be almost completely matte uh, and I do love this quad. It gives you the 90s taupey cool tone look. So I do love this one. However, not my favorite, but I will not get rid of these just because I use Give Beauty a lot. I work with them. I love using their products. I'm doing like full face of those um, of the brand. So I'm going to keep these. Oh, I got another What's Up Beauty palette. I should have just put it right there with the first one but anyways this is the first what's a beauty palette that i tried i don't know how to pronounce it still gosh i haven't learned it <laughs> i should google it okay i will and this palette um it does have less dual chromes and multi chromes but nonetheless their formula literally made me so happy the first time i tried them i was so excited because whenever i try indie eyeshadows you know i expect them to perform and boy did this deliver i love the mustardy shade i love the olive olive tones here but also some warmth and these shimmers are spectacular really gorgeous palette i love this too out of the two i would probably prefer the one with the duochromes just because i'm such a sucker for colorful duochromes but this one is also really really decent and nice all right next i got the dibs beauty eyeshadow palette this is their coffee in hand eyeshadow palette they have another one with more pinky tones but this one guess what this one is also brown cool tone brown uh, taupey <laughs> my kind of color story i also love traveling with this one the shimmers are nothing to write home about but they're a decent formulation mattes are also good and you can go pretty deep with this palette i like this light matte it's well used i love to use it for an everyday look it doesn't make me excited or inspired but it's a good quality eyeshadow palette all right next up we got this guy here this palette is so special to me so 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 special to me as you can see it was signed by the natasha denona and this is their face love face palette this is the first well and the only palette that i ever received um in pr from the brand which is and was such a big deal for me because natasha denona is my all-time favorite eyeshadow brand and to receive pr from them and then to have to actually meet natasha and have her sign this palette was uh, a privilege and uh, something that i will never ever forget one of the best memories in my entire life definitely top three moments in my 2023 but i do love this palette yes it's pink yes we have been a little bit tired from pink but at the same time she introduced this beautiful form formulation here the shade affinity is the very beautiful foil sparkling formula and i love using it even when i'm using a different palette i will just hop pop into this palette to put this on my lid i love that there is a warm neutral shade here so with these three if you don't look at pinks you can have a pretty neutral look but it of course there is some bubblegum pink in here as well as this bubblegum pink blush and this highlighter it's a good palette i love her love face eyeshadow palettes it is not my favorite palette by natasha denona but it takes a special place in my heart so of course keeping it i got the jacqueline cosmetics palette here i believe does she have other palettes oh my god i don't want to be wrong here but this is her Lux legacy palette she had this collaboration i believe with her mother um was it last year i'm not really um I'm not really following her journey or her as a creative, but I do love um, some of her products and I do love this palette as a very good neutral option. They actually sent me two of these and I gave uh, one of these to my mom and she loves neutrals, so she really enjoyed it. Also, these sparkle shimmers don't look 
as good as they actually look on the lid as far as i remember i love this palette i love using it when i'm going for a quick neutral look i haven't actually used like greens in here or even i haven't tried to do a cool tone smoky i only go for like warm browns when i use this palette so i actually need to play with this more yes i do think that these all of these shades look so similar and they're definitely not necessary but i mean i am not <laughs> the creator of this palette and uh, everyone has a different taste and if they created it that means that they saw some um value in creating um shades so close to each other but at the same time really good neutral option really good formula and yes i love this palette i will keep it let's get through some of these minis this is the natasha denona me pastel palette the only reason i bought this palette is because i didn't want to spend money on the midi pastel palette and the shades are fun the concept is fun this one is really pretty dual chrome with like gold and green and some pink but I really, I created one look with this palette and I never used it again. And every time I travel, I pack it with me thinking that I'm gonna wanna pop out green or I'm gonna wanna pop out blue and I don't use it. So I'm not really sure how I feel about this palette. It's not my favorite. I see the appeal, but at the same time, it doesn't get me excited, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, the quality is great though. The quality is great. It just doesn't get me excited. I feel like I want another matte. I feel like I want another shade to complete the color story in my head and to feel more creative with this palette but nonetheless i'm keeping it of course now this palette this is the mini i want to say gold yeah mini gold palette unfortunately i traveled with it last year so this shade broke so i'm not going to open it right now i love it so much that it took it traveling with me it creates a beautiful gorgeous look a very golden olive tone i mean you see for yourself so 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 stunning also picked it up because i didn't want to spend money on the big gold palette i believe now it may even be discontinued but this little guy is so cute it creates a gorgeous look and i'm so sad that this shade broke but at the same time i don't want to buy a new one i don't know why i'm just you know being frugal but i am keeping this even if i'm only going to use these four shadows it's still worth it for me I got her um what is this one called like super mini i don't really know but like a three little panner of the biba palette i believe in one of the sephora sets a couple years back in a holiday set and this is the easiest eyeshadow palette for the easiest everyday look. That's why I love it. That's why you can see it's very well used. I use this palette all the time in my makeup course for hooded eyes for the first look. It's kind of like our everyday look plus eyeliner, wing eyeliner. So this is the palette I use because it's so easy to explain the concept of having a lighter matte shadow, a deeper matte shadow, and a shimmer for a complete look. I love this. This is so handy. I should travel more with this. I tend to pick up big chunky palettes traveling with me, but I should just take this guy and be done. This is amazing. Okay, now this one, um, this is my Milani Gilded Mini Palette. Oh gosh, is it not open yet? It's not even open yet. You see? I promise that in the next drawers, we're going to declutter something, just not in the first one. So this is their mini gilded mini palette, and this is called uh, Cold Me Old Fashioned. Oh my god, I love a cool tone color spray like this. I love Milani and their eyeshadow formula. They are a little bit harder to blend than, say, the luxury formulations of Natasha Denona or Pat McGrath, but at the same time, you do not pay a high price. You it, This one is probably like 10, 12 bucks. Oh, actually, maybe it's a little bit more. Maybe it's 19 now. I don't know. Things are so expensive these days. But anyways, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous eyeshadow palette. I haven't tried it, as you can see, but I know and love their eyeshadow formula. And I tried the other uh, minis from them. So I guess I kept it because I thought I might do like a neutral look with it. Or maybe I'll give it to my mom when she visits. We'll see what I'm going to do with this guy. Definitely not decluttering. I love, 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 love Milani eyeshadows. Up, we got another Natasha Denona palette. This one is overlooked so often by people just because it was one of the first midi size launches. This one, I believe, launched back in 2019 or 2020. And I just started my journey as a makeup artist and as a makeup um, content creator. And I still remember that I purchased this palette and the Sunrise palette that is coming out on the Black Friday sale because it was 
buy two for one and i was so excited i was broke i really wanted to try natural shadows so that's why this palette is always going to be really special to me because it was one of the first two eyeshadow palettes i bought by her at the same time i'm a huge fan of burgundies purples and pinks on my brown eyes now yes if you compare this formulation to her latest launch this is not as good i mean the mat the mats are perfect they have always been and they will always be perfect but the shimmers are quite uh elevated in her newer launches so these are just you know just regular good shimmers um but i love this palette this is so like valentine's day to me i use this on valentine's day every single year and i just love it i, I love it i love the silver in here i love that you can go more cool tone or red or pink there's quite a bit of variety here for just being a pink and purple palette so yeah i love this i always recommend this one when people are looking for something pink and red and purple so uh definitely a keep here let's hop on to the other palette that i bought with that love palette oh this one's rearranged so this is the sunrise palette and you can see how pleasant it is looking because i rearranged it i put the lighter more yellowish mattes on top shimmers on the bottom and then berry tones uh, oh in the middle and then berry tones on the bottom oh this palette just is oh so 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 yummy because i love reds make doing a smoky eye with this row oh, just amazing and the shimmers are great here these mattes the mustard you mattes i love these shades as well this will create the most beautiful sunset or sunrise you know that like kind of gradient effect look on you this was the colors colors like this were really popular back in 2015 16 and 17 but nonetheless i feel like this will never be old if you do a gorgeous warm tone smoky with a gold shimmer you will look good like that's just a fact i love this palette um i don't know if i like the love one or this one better kind of love them the same amount um whereas the newer natasha denona palettes i love way more but these are so 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 special so 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 good and really really yummy get into some pat mcgrath finally this is from the holiday launch last year nude allure eyeshadow palette listen one thing about this palette is that i haven't used it enough i'm not blown away by these shimmers this matte is beautiful this palette on its own is gorgeous it's just that i have much better options from pat i i believe i only got it because it was like half off or something so i snatched this for like 18 dollars. it's good quality eyeshadow if you don't have anything else by pat mcgrath definitely a keep but i don't use it often enough i should use it more this however palette by pat mcgrath is from their love collection so valentine's launch either this year or last year i am i can't remember mothership iconic infatuation i am in love with this little palette mauvey taupey tones beautiful blendable matte formula shimmers again very very boring right classic pat mcgrath color story but the ease of this palette when i don't want to bring a mothership with me on vacation I'll just pack this up and I will have these beautiful tones and shades. I know that the makeup look will always be gorgeous with this. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, I miss it. I need to wear it. So this palette is very inspiring to me. Definitely a keep. Okay, I got this little guy here. This is Catkin Cosmetics. As far as I remember, they have sent me this palette. They have gifted it to me way back when I started out. So this is C08. It's a Chinese makeup brand. I love Chinese makeup brands and I love China. I lived there for six years, <laughs> in case you didn't know. And this palette is amazing. People don't know about it and people don't use this enough. People don't talk about it enough. You can buy it on Amazon. It's not very expensive. It's, I don't know, 20 20 ish bucks and the thing about this palette is that this shade right here is like a total dupe for like uh urban decay topper what's it called space cowboy and like makeup by mario shimmers like this is a total dupe it's so gorgeous it's so iridescent the mattes here are also gorgeous i don't really understand the point of this shade because it's not matte it's not shimmer you know you feel it by now i don't understand eyeshadow sh shadows that are neither matte nor shimmer like what are you i don't I, like i don't want to guess like i want either buttery mattes or sparkly shimmers overall really good palette i reach towards other palette before i will ever reach to this one but i love talking about it because it's easily accessible you can buy it on amazon because it's great quality and not a lot of dollars 
All right, let's get into some luxury. Um, this is the only um, five pan by Dior that I own. Soft cashmere, a classic one, not new by any means, very old one, but this is the only Dior qu qu quint, not quad, right? That I need <laughs> because these are my favorite shades and it again it looks boring but these are these formulations are so sophisticated like they're not fully matte they're all kind of satiny but even though i have hooded oily lids it kind of works on me and these are gorgeous these are beautiful the shimmers are spectacular like so highly recommend this whenever i want to feel like a star like a queen and i always always use this palette especially because it's so easy to travel with again and just so easy to use okay this is all we have left in this drawer which is nice because after that i'm gonna take a break and i might come back tomorrow with different nails so don't judge me uh where is this kylie palette who knows i don't why do i only have a box <laughs> mario makeup by mario the one and only ethereal eyes palette that was discontinued then came back it is as good as they say it is worth it it is amazing as you can see it's so well used it looks so gross i use it all the time I use it all the time. When I don't want to turn my brain on, I reach for this. I use this and my Natasha Donna palettes and my Pat McGrath palettes. These are like my top, top, top used palettes. Insane. Insane. These shimmers are insane. Mattes are so buttery and so easy to blend. This is as good as they say. Get it while you can. If it's still available, I actually don't know. <laughs> but so, so, so good. Highly recommend it. Actually, now that I'm looking at this, this palette, uh, why is it still in the box? I believe that it is still in the box because I wanted to declutter it. Not because I don't like it, but because I don't have a use for it. It is extremely, extremely luxurious. It's Valentino, you know, it's expensive makeup. There's no need to spend whatever this guy costs, $200, no need. But it is a nice palette and I think I wanted to maybe gift it to my mom. So you get four shades here, gross brushes, ew, just like the Dior ones, four shades here, a matte and some shimmers, and then you open it up and you get four more shades. And this gold is spectacular. These, sh these shadows are actually amazing quality. I love this palette. It's just that I don't reach for it and I feel like somebody um, will get more use out of it. Somebody like my mom, um, she lives far away. That's why I always talk about having this and giving it to her next time I see her far away. I mean, a very far away in a different country. So I might see her a little early next year and I will give her this palette. So actually, this is our first declutter of our first drawer. So round of applause. I'm proud of myself. Okay, next we got the Ilia, what is it called? Warm Nude Eyeshadow Palette. Unfortunately, I still haven't tried this. I got this gifted and it's a beautiful neutral palette and they have a nice vegan, um, you know, cruelty for formula. I really want to try these mattes. Look gorgeous. I need to put it on my vanity so I don't forget to try it out because I love Ilia and I love everything about it. Obviously, it's not going to be my first like go-to palette just because I like something with more oomph, something more literally more shimmery, but this is a good everyday palette for somebody who loves neutrals. Okay, this is the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. They had two different color stories. This is the light one. The deeper one is better for deeper complexions. So the layout is exactly like the one I showed you before with Love Face Palette, where you get a blush, you get a highlighter, and you get five shadows. And this palette is also amazing for travel. I sound like I travel a lot. I don't actually travel that much, but I love traveling. And I do take this one with me because I love this blush formula. I love this highlighter. It's not my favorite, but it's good. I mean, how... You, you know, how picky are people about highlighters? I'm not very picky. But these shadows just create the most gorgeous brown look. It's more on the warm side, however, but it's not orange, which is what I love about these shades. And also these shimmers are so beautiful, so glittery. I love it. I wore it to my first ever beauty event as a beauty influencer. So this palette also has a really special place in my heart because of that. So yeah, really, really nice palette. Ooh, you see me. Hi. I will definitely keep this. So the reason why I have one of these and not the other is because I actually keep like around 10 palettes close to my vanity to use throughout the season. So it's winter time now. Well, in my mind, um, winter is December 1st. Um, you, you know, 
I don't, I don't know. It depends on where you're from. You, uh, your season starts differently. I don't want to start talking about it. I'm going to get really mad because <laughs> winter starts December 1st. Okay, I said it. Anyways, it's winter. So I am using kind of like cool tone bluish, kind of like uh, grungy palettes. And they're over there. I'm going to go through them. Uh, so the other palette from this collection is there. And this is the Stone Rock Palette by Odin's Eye. If you don't know... First of all, oh my god, I'm jealous because uh, the world is about to change for you. Odunzai is uh, one of the most amazing, beautiful European brands from um, Sweden, I believe. And they create incredible color stories with incredible formula for not a lot of dollars. Especially if you snag it on, is that a word, snag it? Snag it, I think so. Especially if you get it on sale. Oh my goodness, these are so amazing, so amazing. I love Odin's Eye. I always buy their products myself, so that speaks volumes. I buy almost every single launch. This is incredible. This has really nice grungy greens, really nice golden shimmers, duochromes. Insane, insane quality. Whenever I want something colorful but wearable, I go for these. this palette with the greens or the other palettes. They have like uh, blues and purples there. Amazing. If you haven't tried Odin's Eye, highly, highly recommend any of these palettes. Incredible formulation. Okay, last Pat and Grath palette from this drawer. This is their holiday launch from this year. Does it look familiar? Yes, it looks like Bridgerton packaging. So maybe something <laughs> fell through and they didn't get to do another Bridgerton collab. I don't know. If somebody knows, please tell me. But this is the Mothership Bijou Brilliance Starstruck Splendor. And let me tell you, I ordered this... Come on, guys. Come on, open up. I ordered this palette... Um, off of their website when it first launched uh there was another big palette in this collection this palette has two blushes which work great for my skin tone one more color tone one more coral shade this palette has nine eyeshadows none of them are special pat mcgrath glittery glittery glimmery formula formula but they're good and decent shimmers and obviously if you are a Pat McGrath lover or collector, you know that if you cover this row, it just looks like any other um, Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette. But the fact that she included these greens and the way they look on the eyes compared with these mattes, oh my goodness, it is insane. And this shade is very unique. It's blue to pink duochrome. You can kind of see it right here. I actually use this on top of the greens and it creates the most multi-dimensional, beautiful, gorgeous look. I love this palette. It's a bit chunky, but I don't mind, you know, it's a vibe. It's a whole vibe. I love the mirror. I love everything. I love blushes. Such great quality. I love this palette. Definitely a keep. Only two palettes left in this drawer. Um, These are good ones. So we're going to start with Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. This is one of the only Natasha Denona palettes that I have not purchased myself and never wanted to purchase myself. Like, if it wasn't gifted to me at her event, I wouldn't have bought it because I don't like warm tones. But to be honest with you, once I played with it a little bit, as you can see, a lot of these shades are not even touched, but I played with it a little bit. I actually love it. First of all, these warm shades look really good on my brown eyes. Uh, what doesn't? <laughs> but second of all, these shimmers are really nice. And I know they look like they're kind of the same, but they're all very different and very nice. The mattes are beautiful. So if I want a warm look or like this, or like if it's fall time, you know, and these shades are just really, really inspiring me, I will reach for this palette. It's just that it's less inspiring to me than her newer launches like the one we're going to talk about right now. But if you love warm tones and this is your vibe, like orangey, reddish, but at the same neutral, you will love this palette. It's a great one. It's a classic one. Okay, that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about color... Why is it so dirty? Because I use it all the time. When I'm talking about color stories that inspire me. So this is... Is it her newest not launch? No, Xenon was later. This is her fall launch of this year. Natasha Denona, I Need a Nude Palette. OMG, this was created for me. 
So when you first look at it, it's just a brown eyeshadow palette, cool tone, has some pops of shimmer, you know, but when you touch it, when you swatch it, when you wear it in your eyes, on your eyes, it looks like uh, you're worth a million dollars. It's insane. The shimmers are so unique, so gorgeous. This specific shade is one of my favorite shimmer shimmers of all time. I love using Silhouette as uh, eyeshadow wing liner. I love using these taupey mattes, tender and stone in my crease. It looks gorgeous on me. I love a pop of warmth with Wit and Vogue because I can go a little bit warmer rather than gray. I love a pop of pink. I love everything about this palette. I use it all the time. It is... I think it's my top one or two um, in my Natasha Nona rankings. I have a video right here. I'll leave a link in the description. Please watch it, like and comment and subscribe. I love this. Definitely a keep. So this is a mess. This is my mess. I love this mess. These are the eyeshadow palettes that I was talking about. They're also, I'm using them throughout the season. So that's why they were not in the drawer, but I'll get to them. I'll get to them at the end of this declutter anyway. All right, you guys, here's our second drawer. Again, a little bit more of higher end palettes. I have a drugstore palette drawer later, and these are colorful palettes, palettes that I love, so I can't wait to get into this. We got the Geology Cosmetics Sweet Belt eyeshadow palette. This is the only eyeshadow palette I have from them. It is a smaller indie brand, and to be honest with you, I have not played with this palette enough, but I do love that you can create neutral looks as well as colorful looks and the mattes are really nice the shimmers are not anything particularly amazing but they're good and they get the job done so definitely excited to play a little bit more with this palette we got the ace boutte i love this brand i have tons of palettes by them this is their palatopoly uh palette so it was originally like a board game um and then you play a game and you can create different eyeshadow looks but I just adore this palette and this color story. I travel, last summer, traveled everywhere with me. Um, really amazing quality, great variety of mattes. You got the browns, you got the greens, the pinks, the purples, the blues, and you have a great variety of amazing quality shimmers. I love Ace Boutte's quality. I feel like people don't talk enough about, about them and they're amazing. And this is one of my favorite palettes by them. Definitely a keep. Uh, and this palette is actually my favorite palette by Ace Boutte tropical vibes whenever somebody asks me to recommend them a good green palette i always 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 recommend this one. Oh, this shimmer is just so 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 creamy <laughs> creamy that's why it's so well used so this is the tropical vibes palette and i just love what they've done with the greens here this beautiful chartreuse color this deep 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 color this emerald green and other shimmers just so good you can go so many different directions with this and it creates a beautiful look even if you do not use these gorgeous shimmers but you must you just must use these shimmers such a great color story always a fave from them next i got this nabla miami lights glitter palette and um i do like glitters sometimes but these are kind of like the <laughs> dangerous glitter glitters uh you have to use like a scotch tape to take these off of your eyes don't rub them in you know so i'm trying to stay away from glitters like this i like them when they're more um finely finely milled and pressed and these are quite chunky and i'm honestly just always scared to use them they look gorgeous don't get me wrong on the eyes they look spectacular but i just always feel like i'm gonna lose an eye when i use them so this is our declutter i love you but i love me more <laughs> nabla you're a declutter here's that kylie cosmetics eyeshadow palette um we've had the box uh from it a while ago so this palette is called what is it called where's the where's the name um well there isn't a name the name is in the box probably that's why i kept it it's i believe it's her mauve's palette and listen i was shocked shocked by the quality of this so i got it at an airport you know how they do the um little vending machines with kylie cosmetics oh my god so fun i couldn't stay away i wanted to grab something and this palette was there available and i brought it on vacation to miami with me and when i tried these shimmers i was like are you actually kidding me 
Dusk Highly Cosmetic Make Great Eyeshadows now because I did not know that. But this palette is so cute. We have the taupey shades. We have the peach shades. We have the mauve shades. Beautiful shimmers. I love this. I haven't played a lot with this because I have 200 eyeshadow palettes. So that's why I need to declutter so that I can play more with palettes that I really want to use more. So you're staying. I have Buxom Cosmetics and listen, their lip lip liners and their lip products are amazing their eyeshadow palettes however are a hit or a miss these shimmers are beautiful but the palette itself like they're so powdery and it's just not a cohesive color store for me like is this supposed to be a blush i don't even know but having all four shimmers or whatever this is it's just it's just not inspiring to me and i love buxom with all of my heart but i will declutter this palette because it's just not inspiring to me and i don't need this same goes with this one this one is a little bit cuter because at least there is a matte here and i can see myself throwing this in the crease and then doing one of these shimmers on the lid it is actually not bad quality the shimmers are really really shiny and beautiful you can see how buttery this blush is but I believe that this palette costs a pretty penny and it's just a little bit more than I would have to, that I would want to pay for a palette like this. And I I think I'm going to declutter this one as well. There's another Buxom palette that I love way, way, way more and I will hold on to that one. But these two, I'm going to declutter. Oh my God, Huda Beauty and your nine pans. Oh. It's such a love relationship with them. I have already decluttered the Emerald palette, the Mobs palette. Those are like 10 years old. Like I had to listen, I had to. But this Nude Light by Huda Beauty, oh, I don't think I will ever be able to let go of it. Look how well used this is. The look is just so princess-like, so pinky, so fresh. The shimmers are so glittery. And this was so ahead of its time. Like this was made, oh my God, did it expire in 2019? Probably. Well, there's no way I am decluttering this. You're staying same goes for the huda beauty wild obsessions palette this is actually wild obsessions jaguar and this is actually newer than the other one um this color story oh just look at that that snake print oh my god i love this palette actually as far as i remember some of these shimmers are not really the best this one and this one um these two are great so you can see that i haven't used them but this was way ahead of its time as well because these taupey shades are so in right now but she came out with this in like 2021 or something amazing so gorgeous actually you know this reminds me of like a mini version of her pretty grunge palette that she came out with this holiday season that i have not purchased because i have a million shades like that like here all right so gorgeous you're staying with me and i want to play more with you we're getting into an interesting territory so this palette is by gavisi beauty originally this brand was known for their um cake uh, uh, water activated liners but then they came out with their eyeshadows and this is a pricey palette this is a pricey palette they gifted it to me so basically what happened is um you can go on their website and you can modify and create your own like 16 palette pan or 24 pan or whatever sizes they have palette and you create your own color so you choose your own shadows mattes and shimmers and they're amazing like dual chrome formula well i picked all dual chromes because i'm obsessed with them and so this is the palette i created last year i wanted the blue row the purple the green the orangey one the quality on the mattes and the shimmers is insane it's so spectacular it's so 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 good but all in all this palette is going to be very very expensive but you could just buy a single shade like if you were just looking for like a dual chrome or like a matte or just a couple shades you know what i mean like you can grab any magnetic palette and they will work there the pans are actually quite large um so it's worth the price it's just expensive and i can't in good conscience recommend spending you know a hundred and plus dollars on an eyeshadow palette well i can but you know it's up to you anyways this is the color story I created it's so inspiring to me i was in a colorful mood apparently i uh always lean to towards using it when i think of a rainbow look kind of like when i want to mix some um shades and all of my colorful looks with this palette are gorgeous so you're definitely staying now this is when i uh say that you can use any magnetic eyeshadow palette because this is just a ten dollar uh, magnetic palette from amazon and all of this inside are single eyeshadows from the brand called terra moons cosmetics god do they even operate anymore they probably do i just stopped purchasing from them because i stopped kind of like collecting dual chromes single shade dual chromes but you can see the shifts and how 
gorgeous and creamy these shimmers are whenever i'm doing like a colorful look and i'm like okay i need spectacular blue uh shimmer shade i always reach for this one or uh, that one that i will show you in a bit uh rather than picking up something from the palette that i'm using because there's nothing that can be compared to this quality indie duochromes and indie shimmers oh my god top notch so so yummy i love it let me know if you would be interested in a swatch video of my duochrome and single shadows and just indie shadows collection because uh, i would totally totally do that all right so here's the other palette that i reach for when i think of a colorful shimmer or a duochrome this what is this brand called this brand is called sugar drizzle and this palette is called sugar drizzle the sequel they have a big variety of palettes Palettes. not all of them only have shimmers but this is one of the original palettes and when I picked it up and I saw these shimmers and how they swatch and how they look on the eyes I was in awe I haven't picked up any of their other palettes just because the color stories were not as inspiring and I pretty much have every shade I need here right the green the purple the blue the red the kind of whitish gorgeous cannot recommend this enough super small brand super gorgeous this palette is by glam light and i own i want to say two eyeshadow palettes by them i purchased it myself and this is the barbie eyeshadow palette listen i grew up in the 90s barbies were my everything literally everything i have a barbie standing uh behind me right now like an actual um, bar vintage barbie from 1999 so i had to buy this eyeshadow palette it did not come out this year so it wasn't about the movie okay glam light did it first First. but glam light have amazing colorful eyeshadow formula i love their palettes i do not collect them just because i have so many eyeshadow palettes but i wouldn't say no to their pr wink wink <laughs> so this palette has blues greens purples pinks like Mm, so yummy but at the same time there are some neutral shades i have not used this enough as you can see the blues are barely touched but whenever i think of a purple or blue or pink like really really vibrant mm, color or look i reach for this palette oh now that i'm thinking wouldn't it be so cool to use these three shades in a look i have to i have to do this oh my god i need to use all of these palettes again one thing i will notice though that in some of these palettes where the shadows are kind of like pressed pigments so there's more pigmented they're very very pigmented they're gonna stain and this is one of those palettes when i made uh when i created a look with these pinks here um it stained and so my eyes were kind of red for a day or two it's not like it's not like bad for you it's just a stain so it's just a color it's not irritating me or anything but just wanted to let you know Barbie palette is staying here next up we got another palette by odin's eye i have a lot of palettes by them um this is not new this is so main too i love to think about this palette as like a summer palette or like a spring palette but this i also travel with a lot when i need to travel in the summer and i'm like what is a semi like small palette with colorful shades that i can just throw in my bag and just know that i have mul multiple options this is what i'm thinking about and i used it a lot last a summer uh, not this one but in 2022 when i traveled to europe for a whole month love 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 this love these rows beautiful shimmers beautiful mattes perfect Perfection. Odin's Eye formula is perfection. All right, five more palettes in this drawer. This is so special. This is an eyeshadow palette by Lunar Beauty, 12 Days of Lunar. So they had an advent calendar with an eyeshadow palette, and each of the days had each of these shades, and then you could arrange them however you please. It is more of a fall color story, even though it's an advent calendar and it was a holiday launch. So that was a little bit weird, but then, uh, you know, Manny Amiri, the creator of this palette, uh, said so at the very beginning that it's going to be a fall color story so not to worry about that but the thing is that it's pretty simple right the color story but the way the shimmers sparkle in the light and the way the mattes blend you can just tell that it's a great high quality eyeshadow palette i also don't use this enough because in my mind this is a neutral palette but it's not there's so many nice pops of pops of green and pops of color and mustard and purple i should use this more often a really a really great quality palette i do want to try more from lunar beauty i just haven't gotten around to it okay next palette by huda beauty we have have the rose quartz palette oh, i miss huda beauty launches that were this like i got bored from what was the maroon one and then this year i don't know i was i'm just bored with huda um launches lately but this was so good so this is the rose quartz palette and this is like so unique it's so unique 
Oh my goodness. Of course, there is mattes. There, is, there are pretty predictable mattes here. The warmer tones, the cooler tones, the pinks, but the shimmers. Oh, the, this has never been done before and will never be done again. Like this shimmer right here, it shifts blue. It shifts pink. This one is also. And these taupey shimmers. This palette is everything. I am in awe of this. This was what top three favorite eyeshadow palettes of Huda Beauty for sure. I used it all the time and I'm obsessed with it. And it's just, it's just amazing. So gorgeous. So inspiring. All right, next we got a brand that I'm so excited to talk about because people don't. And it's a very amazing brand from Europe, I believe. And they're used to called Cosmic Brushes. I believe now because they don't only come out with brushes, as you can see, it's not a brush. They're called Cosmic Beauty and they're not expensive. Like I paid like 20 bucks for this palette and the quality on this is insane. First of all, let's just take a moment for this color story. How creative, right? How fun, how spring light. Like you have pinks, you have greens, you have purples, you have orange. I love traveling with this because it's quite lightweight. It's very sturdy and the possibilities are just limitless literally insane oh my god obsessed with these palettes so good so 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 good um also some dual chromes here yeah so this is i want to say an indie brand and this palette is called muse and i have another palette by them that i'm currently using so it's in that gross pile that i showed you earlier so yeah amazing 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 definitely staying here with me okay this palette i always rave about it's quite new i believe it launched over the fall was it I think so. Yeah, could have been summer. I don't really remember. I worked with Juvia's Place on this launch. Um, this is their Afri Galactic Eyeshadow Palette. And it's also not really very expensive because Juvia's Place, you know, they're not very expensive. But the quality on this, these dual chromes, uh, 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 they're so good. They're comparable to some of the best indie multi-chromes in the world. So this one, this shade, and I believe that one as well. The mattes are great, usual Juvia's Place, amazing formula. I created several looks with this palette and I love it. I love that it's so colorful. I mean, as usual, in Juvia's Place um, world, everything is very colorful and beautiful. Obsessed with this palette. So, so, so nice. All right, last palette in the second drawer is by Be Perfect Cosmetics and Stacey Marie MUA, a makeup artist that I adore, and she's so inspiring to me. I attended her makeup courses, not live, but like online. I love her. I love what she does with Be Perfect. I only own two eyeshadow palettes from their collabs. Uh, I believe they have five or six or I don't know, maybe seven. They have a lot of rainbow palettes, but the two I own are surprisingly not that rainbowy. <laughs> so this one is called The Antidote and this has well, first of all, not a lot of people like when there's a lot of eyeshadow um, pans in an eyeshadow palette. And yes, it's bulky and I can't travel with it. But this gives me so many possibilities and different options. It makes me feel so inspired. I just want to go in and create a beautiful fall look or a beautiful neutral look or romantic or green. Like this gives me life. I just love looking at this palette, honestly. I have not used it often all that much. I have used it a bit more in the fall, which is really nice. But overall, this needs more love obsessed with the quality on be perfect eyeshadows i was not expecting that i knew that they were good but because such a huge palette costs like 45 maybe dollars so not very expensive for this many shades but the quality is top notch the shimmers are amazing even better than the other palette that i have from them but this is just such a beautiful fall eyeshadow palette i adore it adore it so gorgeous you know eyeshadow palettes are not always for using sometimes oops i forgot about this sometimes they're for looking at them and for swatching them if you're an eyeshadow palette collector and you probably are if you're watching this video, you understand me. Okay, three palettes decluttered from the second drawer. I think this is a success. Okay, drawer number three makes me happy because some decisions are going to be made. I'm ready to let go of some of these. And this is probably the last one I'm going to film today because... Your girl's tired, so let's get into it. First one, we got this little quad by the brand called Espresso. What I love about this brand is that they're manufactured in Italy. They uh, make really high quality products. This is a little quad with shimmers. I don't necessarily understand this color story. I feel like you could just use an individual shimmer and you know, put it on your lid, maybe throw some bronzer in the crease if you don't want to use another eyeshadow palette. That could work. I don't want to declutter it because I love the brand Espresso and sometimes I use their products and like I uh, create a full face with them with their products this is not my favorite 
thing in the world. I'm just not into shimmery quads, but I'm gonna keep it for now. Oh my god, who remembers these? This looks, this doesn't look too bad though, but it's so old. It's so old. I have definitely, definitely bought it way more than 18 months ago. Probably 2018. <laughs> Norvina ABH eyeshadow palette. But I mean, can you blame me for not throwing this out? This is an absolutely cult classic. I am never letting go of this. I can just say it right now. I'm not letting go of these. I loved these mattes. No matter how powdery they are, I loved them. These shimmers were very ahead of their time. They're not so special right now, but they used to be one of a kind. And this is just a cult classic. I didn't ever have a modern Renaissance palette or soft glam. No, I never had any of these. I just had Norvina, and that's why I'm going to keep having her because she's gorgeous and she deserves to live. That was a little bit dark. This palette is Sigma Beauty. This palette, uh, this eyeshadow palette is Untamed. And I used to be on their PR list uh, a while ago. And they sent me this palette. And let me tell you, I find the color story so unique and so inspiring. And I don't hear people talk about this palette often. I know that Sigma has uh, other amazing products in their line, like their brushes. I use them all the time. I love them. But I feel like this palette didn't get enough love. It's amazing. There's a black, there's a light matte, there's all kinds of shimmers. I love this palette. I love creating looks with this, like something ethereal and purpley or like a green mustardy look or like a rosy look. It's so good, so good. I love it. I'm not getting rid of it. Now, this palette, I appreciate the art and the thought behind it. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Alicia, Alyssa Edwards collab. I'm not really um, familiar with Alyssa, Alyssa's um, work, but it was an iconic collab and this is quite a palette, quite a statement. These are pressed pigments. Uh, the blues, they're very vibrant. They're very vibrant. They're very pigmented. They don't blend well because they're pressed pigments. There's more pigment to them then there's eyeshadow if that makes sense so the yellow the pink they will stain they will not blend really well i do like the uh neutral shades here and i like how vibrant this raspberry shade is and this uh shimmer right here these are fun these are so fun but i just feel like i don't need this palette anymore in my collection i just feel like i outgrew this vibe like i have that pink in the barbie glam light palette and i feel like i feel like that could be enough for me so we're decluttering this baby the chokehold that this palette had on me i literally remember the day that i went to alta to buy this when i first started as a creator as a makeup creator and i just wanted one basic palette from a good eyeshadow brand and I love this. Uh, this is the bridal palette to me. Uh, not that I wore this on my wedding day, surprisingly. I wore some fun <laughs> pink Natasha Denona shadows. I was in a mood. But this is the, bridal, the bridal palette. The shimmers are good. The mattes are amazing. I love the layout. Like, this inspires me. I love it. I love the gradient. I feel like every eyeshadow palette should have this. Just go from light to dark. Just do this. Come on. How, how hard is that, right? I, I love this palette. I'm not getting rid of this. I'm definitely, definitely keeping this as a wonderful neutral palette. Not that I will ever pick this before I pick the Makeup by Mario palette, but I love it. It has a special place in my heart. I bought it with my money when I was so broke, and I, I love this palette. I'm keeping it. All right, this is, this is a tough one, you guys. This palette is by KVD. Uh, and the reason it's so ugly is, <laughs> is because it's recyclable packaging or something like that. Planet Fanatic Fully Recyclable Wet Dry Eyeshadow Palette. Yes. And so they tried it. It didn't work, obviously. They're not coming out with anything like this anymore. These shadows, don't they look so amazing? Don't they look just spectacular? Well, guess what? They do not transfer <laughs> to the eyes like this. The mattes are really powdery and really really weak the shimmers are nice that i'm going to say the shimmers are nice especially if you use them wet they're quite nice this is a very interesting very nice deep shimmer but there's just no way that i will ever ever use this you're being decluttered okay we got one more eyeshadow palette from odin's eye and this is the eyeshadow palette that made me fall in love with a brand these this row here these shimmers are amazing like you can see how well used this shimmer is this is one of my favorite blues of all time i find this color story so cozy 
so winterly is that a word i created it i find it so inspiring there's not a lot of brands who make color stories like that like you see it like obviously not every color works with another color but you immediately see so many good options right you can go neutral you can go blue you can go red you can go orange you can go mauvey you can go smoky you can go green like are you joking so this this palette is quite old and they actually came out with the same palette but um, they changed the shape of the pans i believe they're square now or something like that maybe there's more product there but this you can still get this palette and i highly highly recommend it especially if you're like a smoky lover or a colorful lover or just want to start out and try this brand this cold this is called Norn's eyeshadow palette. Another palette that I like saw and I was like, I need this in my life. I have to save money for it and then I will buy it or I will buy it when it's on discount. It was this palette by the brand called Made by Mitchell. Why are they not making any more eyeshadow palettes? I will never know. They come out with a gazillion cream blushes and highlighters, which like, listen, the market is already oversaturated. I don't know who needs more cream blushes and highlighters, but I do need more of this creativity. They only had like two or three eyeshadow palettes. I can't imagine they didn't do well because this is phenomenal. So this is, oops, Head in the Clouds. Yeah, this is Head in the Clouds eyeshadow palette. And would you look at that? Not only is it so inspiring, cotton candy vibes, very colorful. I don't know. The shimmers are amazing when i tell you they're amazing the mattes are colorful so of course they're not like the easiest to blend but they're good they're really 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 good and um yeah i'm in love with this pink shade and this dual chrome and just oh this is making my creative juices flowing i want to do a clown makeup look with all these shades just thrown on my lids right now amazing i wish made by mitchell would create more palettes like this because this is what art is all about this is what makeup is all about for me here's the next eyeshadow palette this is by the brand called sample Be sample beauty they are sold on beauty bay and this is the painter's palette there's a makeup artist who i believe is not really doing um influencing or like being a social media uh personality anymore beth painter she's incredibly talented and amazing working makeup artist but she used to do more of social media and influencing stuff and while she was doing it she created this palette with sample beauty and i purchased it because this was the first rainbow palette that i ever purchased i needed a good rainbow palette that would have all kinds of shades all mattes and this palette did the job it's not the best eyeshadow uh formula especially after i tried um uh, more high-end rainbow eyeshadows like say be perfect even they're way better but this is not bad the shimmers are really really good the color story is inspiring to me i it makes sense to me it makes sense there's neutrals there's rainbows there's black there's white there's three shimmers silver gold and um whatever this shimmer is uh kind of like a reddish i love this palette i love this palette I don't know if I will ever use it again. I probably won't. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. I am proud of myself. I didn't know I would declutter so much. Okay, let's get into this. This palette, what it means to me, God, it's so old. I cannot even describe it to you. I think that this was absolutely genius and that Huda Beauty has not come out with anything like this ever since. Yes, Rose Quartz was a fun and amazing and great quality palette, but this is artistic genius to me. Oh my God, Color Stories used to be so fun. So this was, I want to say, I want to say it was 2019 because um, I remember it being announced and I still lived in China and then COVID hit <laughs> while I was living in China and I remember it being announced and I was looking at the pictures of the spout and I was like, I need that in my life and I will get that in my life. And I only got to have it um, later in 2020, but it was, believe me, it was the first eyeshadow palette I bought when I moved to US. Incredible. I just think it's genius. Yes, this shade is not the best, uh, like not blending the best. Yes, if you cover the throat, it's pretty much a pink palette, but something about looking at it and just feeling so inspired and just, I there's something about this palette that can never be undone. The shimmers in here are still incredible. The mattes in here still work. I will never ever declutter it and I will always use it. I am pretty sure it's gotta be expired, but I don't care. It's amazing. It was a cult classic beautiful eyeshadow palette i'm so happy i have it 
It's called Mercury Retrograde by Huda Beauty. I got two eyeshadow palettes here by a brand called A Lime Crime. I haven't heard anything about them since, you know, six years ago <laughs> when these palettes were in. And I bought these myself. I quite enjoy their formulation. Again, it was six years ago, so... Um, there's definitely way better formulas on the market right now. But their mattes were always so buttery soft and their shimmers were really, really nice. This little guy is just so cute and so easy to use. Just eight shades, but there's so, so much variety. I loved it so much. I don't think I'm going to use this ever again. Probably not. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this. Um, it's also expired. It, there's just like no value. Um, in it. I love it, but I don't need this. I think I'm doing it because I need room for new palettes. I literally didn't have room in that uh, in those drawers to put a new palette in, so that's why I'm getting rid of all of these. <laughs> so, next one is called Venus Excel by Lion Crime, and oh my god, this palette, this palette is incredible. I know right now the color series is very outdated. Also, the shimmers are so weak here, <laughs> but the mattes and just the way they blended and the way like you could get a really nice like mauve look with it. It was great. We had good times, but you're leaving because I need room for new eyeshadow palettes in my life. I'm sorry. Okay, next palette. This one is by Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay. They have their own brand as well as sell other brands on their website. Funny story about this palette. I've had it for probably a year, if not more, over a year. Have I ever touched this? What do you think? No, I have not. I only bought this palette because, well, first of all, I love Nikki Tutorials and I, I always want to support her, but I only bought this palette because it was $5 on the beauty by website and i bought it because one of my um followers just asked me to try beauty bay eyeshadows and talk about their quality have i done that no have i purchased the palette yes this one has amazing duochromes by the way and really great shimmers and as far as i know good mattes but i haven't tried it so i can't say anything about it this packaging is honestly not my vibe, not my style, but I appreciate the creativity and the mirrors and stuff like that. And I will try it one day. That's why I'm not decluttering it. You're staying. You will be on my eyes one day. I promise. We got two little Natasha Denona numbers. Her, well, they're not mini. They're five pan palettes. They're full palettes. And this one I, I bought because I had a subscription to BoxyCharm. And when you have a subscription to BoxyCharm, you can get great discounts on great products. So I paid like $12 for this, even though it's like a $50 palette. Well, obviously it's too expensive for a five panner, but it's Natasha Denona, so that's what it costs. And this is, this doesn't even have a name. It's eyeshadow palette five, because it's a five panner palette 07. So one of her oldest, oldest launches. Hence, it's really, I just don't understand this color story. I bought it because it was a colorful option and I'm like, I'm a colorful lover, so I'm gonna get this but I don't understand the color story. I created exactly one look with this palette and it worked. But at the same time, I just don't, I just don't understand why this matte with all these gone metal shimmers. So I am decluttering this palette. I thought I'm not gonna declutter any Natasha Denona palettes, but I just don't see myself using this ever again. So I will declutter this. I am being so harsh, I'm proud of myself. Now this palette, however, this was in an actual boxy charm one month while I was subscribed to the service. And this is called Jubilee Palette. And am I a big fan of this palette? No. I think that this color story is honestly hideous. Honestly, you cannot create a look using by these shades. No, never. Each individual shade, however, is amazing. This is the best transition color ever created. It's called Vintage Taupe. I remember it, I know it. It's also in one of her permanent um, palettes, but I don't remember which one. This is a color from her Love palette. I love this pink. This yellow is very, very vibrant and nice. This is a dark, deep, deep, deep blue. Incredible shade from her Metropolis palette. This is from her Tropic palette, also amazing. So. Each individual shade is spectacular. That's why I'm keeping this. <laughs> but I could not, for the life of me, create a look out of these five shades, ever. No, absolutely, this is hideous, disgusting. But I love this because 
the quality is amazing and each individual shade is great just four more to go you guys all right if you're spooked by everything scary skip ahead a little bit this palette this is a second palette by glam line that i own from their chalky collection listen i love everything horror and uh i love the collabs they're doing Again, I'm not like buying everything and going out of my way to get more collections from them, but I do like to get it once in a while, especially when it's something so fun. And this is their Chucky collection, and I just don't have anything like this in my personal eyeshadow palette collection. You can see how smoky and grungy this is. Such a different vibe from what I normally do, but I love that it's that it's purple that it's mo mauvey that it's not just black and white you know what i mean there's a variety here the shimmers are insane the mattes are amazing that's again that's mostly why i purchase their palettes because the quality is amazing and the price point is not that bad i typically use it during halloween didn't get the chance to do it this year because i was traveling a lot in the fall but Love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, this is a palette by Urban Decay Wild Greens, and I love it because uh, it was very early on in my career, and Urban Decay sent me this eyeshadow palette, and I created looks with it, and uh, my videos were going viral at that moment, so it just, I don't know, it just, I have a really special place in my heart um, for this palette. So it's nothing crazy, but I find this simple color story really, really cute. I like the greens. I like the peachy tones. I am missing one good deep matte eyeshadow here, but I don't mind using this green in the outer corner, you know, if I have to. So yeah, this is a cute palette. Is it amazing or is it worth $40? I don't actually know how much it costs, but I'm assuming like 40 plus dollars. No, of course not. Absolutely not. But it's really, really cute and I love it and I'm going to keep it. Two more palettes. So this is uh, from that brand Cosmic uh, Beauty. I have their palette called Muse and their palette called Serenity. They're always sold out. So like you have to like catch their palettes because they're such good quality and they're also not expensive. So this palette is Serenity. Arguably, this is my favorite of the two. Just look at that. Like, isn't it insane? I used this just yesterday to create a look. I created like a Northern Lights inspired look. I used the blues and the purples and the shimmer. OMG, cotton candy vibes, but also greens, but also gold, but also browns if you want to go neutral. That's why this is so versatile and uh, incredible quality. Amazing mirror. I love, 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 love everything about this brand. Next one. Oh, Pat McGrath. So this is the last palette in our third drawer. And this launched for holidays last year, I want to say 2022. It's got to be. It's got to be 2022. So this is their, this is what they used to do for the holidays. A big 18 panner. And this is the most colorful palette by Pat McGrath, not only that I own, but also that she ever came out, sorry, I just, it's so big, that she ever came out with in the history of Pat McGrath. I adore this palette. This is a rainbow palette, but like luxury rainbow palette. You know what I mean? Neutrals make an insanely beautiful uh, everyday look. I love this shimmer. I love the green. I love that we have purples and pinks and reds. I love this gold. I love the blues, the icy blue. I love the maroon. There are so many different possibilities with this palette. Like, I love it. There isn't a crazy metallic, beautiful shimmer glittery formula here, like in her motherships, but it's still amazing. And I love it. And I will keep it. And it's just so pretty. It's just so pretty. All right, team, new drawer, new day, new nails. <laughs> so here we have my drawer of affordable eyeshadow palettes, as well as some of the eyeshadow palettes I put aside for winter months, the ones that I'm going to be wearing this winter. So I'm not decluttering those. I just wanted to show my entire collection to you guys. That's why they're also here. So let's get into this. We got the Essence Dancing Green palette. This is the least expensive aka the cheapest palette i own i believe it's 3.99 so i don't want to get like rid of it i the quality is fine it's 3.99 it's not the best but it's not the worst the shimmers are good the mattes are okay they're decent and i love this palette i love this little guy it's so cute so whenever like i want to create a look with like the least expensive makeup in my collection or like full face of essence or something like that I need this palette, so I'm going to hold on to this. We got the Milani, another Gilded Mini, and this one I did use. Um, this is like the berry-toned, what's it called? 
the wind down oh, i love these names this is like the berry toned little um travel palette i actually love this so much i'm not going to declutter this milani have outstanding eyeshadow formula and then we got oh this might be one of my most favorite like mini milani palettes this has to be it money saving Be bestie this was in a collaboration with rocio roses i hope i'm pronouncing her name correctly beautiful beautiful influencer oh my god this is this is a luxurious palette you can see the color story the freaking quality on this is amazing milani i don't know how you do it i'm obsessed with this definitely a keep and then we got this has got to be like one of the tiniest and also the least expensive palettes in my collection this i swear it used to be like three four dollars i don't know how much these are right now these are called bite size eyeshadow palettes by elf and this is the berry tone one you can see i was really into the berry tones well i still am but i used to be even more so five years ago so definitely a keep because come on so cute next we got two palettes by lottie london and uh, my thinking here is to keep one eyeshadow palette so i'm going to keep the green one this one is totally mint and i'm going to get rid of the rose golds they're cute but somebody else will get more use out of this so i'm going to declutter this one same goes to this brand heart candy um i'm going to only keep the purple one and i'm going to declutter this because i frankly speaking i've never used these palettes but what if i want to do full face of heart candy one day because i do love their makeup so i'm going to keep this one okay let's quickly go over my winter eyeshadow palette picks because i'm not decluttering the, this so this is natasha denona mini cheerchrome palette i have a review of this palette on my channel with a gorgeous look i love it i don't see myself using it very often but right now in the winter with the blue tones yes please definitely a keep and then we got the milani like i said i love milani eyeshadows uh i have a lot of their palettes and i'm not decluttering them this is the days of disco palette this is a dupe for pat mcgrath subversive mothership three i don't remember the name it's gotta be subversive this is a literal dupe <laughs> i created um i should have looked side by side with uh this palette on one side and the pat mcgrath on the other side and they look the same so uh there you go this this says something about milani's quality i love this palette because it's so fun such great quality you can create neutral looks and colorful looks and smoky eyes and it's just a lot of fun i love it uh, next winter palette that I pulled out is Moira Magic Dreaming from the Moira Land series palette because I haven't had a lot of time to play with this palette. I loved this palette, but I just didn't have the time to play more with it. And it has, as well as like the deep blues, it has pastels and then some browns. Like, what a yummy color story. And again, the quality is just unmatched. Look at how creamy that shimmer is. Mm -mm. Love this. And this is the palette I was actually talking about from Odin's Eye. This is the other palette companion to that green one. This has more blue and purple tones. That is why I pulled it out for winter just look at that i cannot even begin to describe how much i love odin's eye and their color stories and this is spectacular spectacular gonna be using the heck out of this in the winter next i always want like a one completely neutral palette for my uh kind of palettes in rotation drawer and this was my pick for the winter ColourPop 1111 palette because you know what guys this is a great dupe for natasha denona i need a nude palette and i use that one um every single day so i wanted to give some love to this little guy and i will probably take it traveling with me for the holidays because it's so easy to pack to use and it just has a good variety of neutrals and i love it i love ColourPop quality god oh this is one of the best freaking palettes i tried this year it is uh, a palette by glaminatrix cosmetics if i'm not mistaken this is an australian brand correct me if i'm wrong Wrong. this is my first uh palette that i purchased from them it's called sugar and spies and i was blown away i mean i know that indie eyeshadow brands are better okay just look at that look at that shift mm. this palette is everything i need in my entire life i have pastels for my inner corner bright moments i have cool tone neutrals i have dual chromes i have purples i have literally everything i need this shimmer all over the lid for a neutral look trust me trust me so this palette is literally perfect for me to be honest with you this is the perfect color story this is like what i would create if i were to create my eyeshadow palette no kidding so cute and great quality of course 
I have three more palettes that I pulled out for my winter rotation. So I got Pat McGrath Labs. This is from this year's holiday collection. Bijou Brilliance Eyeshadow Palette Lunar Nightshade. Good Lord. Why do they come up with names like that? Anyways, this palette is so fun. We haven't received a lot of fun from Pat McGrath in the past couple years so this was exciting to me i bought it it's great quality it's great fun color story it's really inspiring to me this matte um is kind of like a mid-tone purple shade it won't go go too deep but it's about the shimmers to me in this palette and you can just throw this in the crease and it will be fine um love it and then one more mini palette from pat mcgrath i actually used this one uh, oh yeah, I did use this one a couple days ago um, in a look. I literally just put this one shade all over my lid with a finger and then this as eyeshadow wing and it looked insane. So this is from last year's holiday collection. This one is called Bronze Bliss. Oh my, this is the most beautiful silver shade I have in my entire collection. And this palette is just so inspiring to me and so gorgeous. These bronze, like so luxurious. Mm -mm -mm. Love, love, love this palette. Last palette from my winter rotation and the one that, of course, I'm not going to be decluttering. This is uh, the last collab by Be Perfect Cosmetics and Stacey Maria Mue. This is the Carnival Interest Interstellar and I consider this color story pure perfection. I don't know how to describe the things this palette makes me feel, but just having all of these grays on one side that lean a little bit more green, that lean a little bit more blue, that lean a little bit more warm, all of these rainbow shades, when we have deep ones, when we have light ones, pastel ones, all of the gorgeous glittery shimmers, and the fact that it performs the way it performs with amazing quality. I am honestly just extremely happy that I picked this up. Honestly, so happy. And now that I'm looking at it, like I want, I want this on my eyes. I want this on. I haven't played a lot with this eyeshadow palette. As you can see, I mostly used, use it for purples or for grays, but like greens and berries and blues, not so much. So I need to get on that and use this beautiful palette. To more affordable products, I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes by Moira and I love them. These little guys, I have, I probably have more of these. Yeah, right here. I have four of these. Is that the fifth one? Probably. So, Silver Mist, Golden Treasure, Sugar Delight, and Twilight Dreams. These perform so well, and they're so great for travel, and they have different color stories. This one is more, oops, cool toned. Uh, as you can see, I haven't played with this one. I did, though, with this, Golden Treasure, and I did play with Twilight Dreams, and Sugar Delights is um, my favorite out of these because it's just... Um, very neutral not getting rid of, rid of these ever they're so good they're so so such great quality and so inexpensive highly highly recommend this if you're looking for a good travel sized affordable palette let's see if that was one of those yes i knew it oh i've also haven't used this one have i no i have not so it's like the more berry tone but look how stunning have to have to use this so yeah not getting rid of this Ever. I love Moira. Now we have, this is, I believe is by Makeup Revolution, right? Their Fortnite collab. I don't know Fortnite, so I might be mistaken. Gotta be it. Oh, I actually haven't tried this palette. I haven't played with it. And honestly, I don't necessarily have a desire to do so. So I will um, declutter this palette. And then we got the Juvia's Place palette, the Rebel Grays. I bought this palette a long time ago because I didn't have any grays in my collection. Now I have a ton, but, but hear me out. I will still not get rid of it because it's amazing quality. And I love Juvia's Place and it's just a quad. And I love when um, it's decided for you and all four shades are right here. Just create a look with them and don't think too hard. I love Juvia's Place. I'm keeping this. Another amazing palette by Milani that I actually love using, and I've used it quite a bit, Luminoso Eyeshadow Palette um, from their Luminoso collection. This is, leans more warm, but there's still a coolness to it in these two shades. And it's just a good everyday palette with a hint of gold, pink, and love, love, love. Love the quality on this. Super simple. Not much to say about this guy, but I'm definitely keeping it. Then we have the e.l.f. palette. This is the e.l.f earth and ocean eyeshadow palette this is one of the first eyeshadow palettes i bought for myself when i started this journey in 2020 to be honest with you look how well used that is 
The way I love this palette, and I find this color story spectacular, and it's just, it just has a special place in my heart. I don't think I can declutter this, you guys. I, the quality on this is not great. It is not. The mattes are kind of hard to blend. The shimmers are, I mean, some of them are great. Some of them are not so much. But I will. I just find this color story absolutely perfect. The idea behind it, the name, everything. So I'm not going to declutter it. I also love Elf Cosmetics, one of my favorite brands. So I'm going to keep it. Same goes uh, for <laughs> Elf and Chip Chipotle collab. Oh my god, I've literally used it once. But look at how fun. Who remembers this? This came out a couple years back. And it's Elf and Chipot Chipotle collab. And it's made in a shape of a Chipotle menu. So I'm keeping this. It's a collector's item at this point. This iconic collab. Mm -mm, I'm not getting rid of this. Look at the name of all of this. Lettuce, guac, salsa. Love it. So cute. Keeping it. Okay, this is going to be... There's going to be some decluttering going on over here. Revolution and Clueless collection. God, I love Clueless so much. And this is their As If I Should Have Palette. Um, I do want to save a couple of pals by Revolution in case I'm doing a full face of makeup Revolution or something like that. And I honestly don't mind this one so i think i'm gonna keep this i want to keep this palette because i just love it so much uh and the quality on this honestly and it's just a little uh six pan by revolution this um shimmer is so nice i love greens i love golds i want to keep this this is a cute cute little palette uh next we go to milani ungilded most love mattes oh my god this palette is so well used by me it's only matte shades but they're so good and it's such just a great range. You get warm tones, cool tones, light, deep mattes. It's also a great palette for travel if you are not all about those shimmers. I use it as a companion palette, and sometimes I do love all matte looks, so I love this. This is definitely a keep. Um, so here are some palettes from a brand that does not exist anymore, unfortunately. Called, well, first it was called Muse, Muse I don't know, Muse Beauty. Uh, then it was called Kylav Beauty. And they created amazing color stories. Just look at that. But they do not exist anymore. Oh my god, just look. At, I, I'm, I'm looking at them and I'm like, I don't want to declutter them. But like, there is no point because they don't exist anymore. So I have to. But look at how gorgeous their packaging is. They used to be sold on Amazon. Um, they weren't super affordable, but somewhat affordable. Their shimmers are not anything spectacular. But their color stories, the packaging so good but unfortunately they don't exist anymore so i just have to have to get rid of these we have a ton of palettes from moira one of my favorite brands um this is the other moira moira land series palette that again as you can see i used it only once these shades are a little bit um a little bit out of my comfort zone not gonna lie i'm not really about neons but what if neons are the thing in 2024 should i keep it because i don't have a lot of neon eyeshadow eyeshadows I'll keep it. Actually, yeah, I'm not going to declutter Moira palette. What am I? Crazy? No, I love Moira. I'm keeping this. I also do love this Moira palette. It's an older one, Among the Wildflowers. But there's something about this color story that gets me so inspired. And I love using it in the spring. I love the couple shimmers that they have here. And definitely keeping it. Whenever I want like a bright look, I always reach for this. Oh, these two are probably my favorite palettes from Moira. A moment with you just freaking look at that the quality on this i always always use these palettes when i want a neutral look with a pop of green or the other one has a pop of purple you have no idea if you haven't tried moira how well these perform like the purple and the gold shimmers they look like freaking huda beauty eyeshadow palettes i'm telling you but they're like less than 20 dollars i want to say so so good definitely keeping this is a cool one i still haven't used it as it's intended so this is like their all-inclusive eye cheek and face palette so look at this you got two blushes a bronzer highlight and three eyeshadows to make this gorgeous like smoky eye i've used the I've used the face part of this palette and I love it. I love Milani face products, but I haven't used like done like a full look with this one palette. I don't think so. I really want to. This is a gorgeous, cute idea. Love it. Definitely a keep. Oh, this palette. Mm, this is where it all started. My love for Milani. Well, it started many years ago, but the moment I bought this palette, I was like, 
Wow. This was the first eyeshadow palette I bought from Milani Cosmetics. Do you see how well used that is? I just, this color story inspires me so much. I love it when you can do go neutral, when you can go pink, when you can go green, when you can go gold, all in one palette. Like, that's just my vibe. That's my cup of tea. Obsessed. And it even has a duochrome. Like, are you kidding me? Love, 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 love this. So, so good. Last Moira palette. <laughs> I think so might not be you had me at makeup i also i honestly use this a lot because this is like an old brown eyeshadow palette so i don't have a lot of those surprisingly because i'm just like such a colorful eyeshadow girly so i love this palette because it has cool tone browns and warm tone browns well not really warm like not orange browns but you know ki my kind of warm and spectacular shimmers i love doing a smoky eye with this one so good definitely keep next we got the Ciata palette and to be honest with you Ciate eyeshadows are really really good and i'm definitely gonna keep this one as well as a couple other Ciate palettes this is just so stunning and it's just screams summer beach and it's gorgeous it's beautiful i love it it's kind of bulky uh, and big to travel but at the same time you have such a good variety and really nice quality last palette from this drawer you guys it's so fun isn't it such a cute idea to create a collab with monsters university yes it is but this, like, I'm struggling to open it and show it on camera. And it's so heavy. <laughs> this is one eyeshadow palette. This is the biggest palette in my collection. And I used it once, and it was fun, but I don't need it. I, it's, time to, it's time to say goodbye. I all right, guys, right here we have a really special set of palettes. These are the palettes that I have on my display in my background of my videos. Pat McGrath palettes and some of the Natasha Denona palettes. So obviously I'm not decluttering the, these ever in my entire life. I spend way too much money on these, but I want to open them up and show them to you and just kind of talk a little bit about them. So we're going to start with the Natasha Denona Circle Local palette, a very, very underrated palette. Ooh, I love how I rearrange this so originally the color story of this is obviously very colorful and kind of chaotic because all of these shades are kind of just like all over the place however as you can see I kind of arranged them in some kind of color families like I have an orange column here pink one then I have some blues some purples whenever I think of a blue or purple look for some reason I always reach for this palette palette even though it's not entirely blue or purple but this shade this shade and especially this blue shade you can see how well used it is I am obsessed with them uh not so much with the oranges just because I never reach for orange eyeshadows but this color story I find it very inspiring I love it it's gorgeous it's stunning you can get a beautiful colorful look it is definitely a staple in my collection and I love this palette the next one is in my humble opinion the most underrated Natasha Denona palette. This is the Triochrome palette. And yes, everyone knows that the actual Triochrome, this is also rearranged, <laughs> that the actual Triochrome shades here are not the most amazing multichromes in the world, especially with all of the indie eyeshadows coming through with a beautiful multichrome formulation. But the true, true value of this palette is in these beautiful muted mattes. And I have a feeling that we're gonna, I don't know, that's just my little prediction for 2024. I think we're gonna get into muted, colorful looks. I don't know why, but these are very special, very unique. I have nothing like this in my entire collection. I love the greens, I love the peachy tones, I love the purples and lavenders. It's a gorgeous palette. And don't get me wrong, you will get a, a stunning look with these multi-chromes and these mattes, but yeah and i love these light mattes as well for the inner corner such an amazing palette i need to use this more this is natasha's newest launch and i've been using this palette a lot i love that i gravitate towards it uh, in the colder seasons i love how beautiful the formula is how just absolutely perfected this formula is it is stunning they have outdone themselves with this. I looked at the color story and I thought it was boring. And yes, it's not my favorite. Believe me, it's not. But I still reach for this palette all of the time because of how good the formula is. And um, yeah, I love it. If you love smoky eyes, if you like silvery tones, if you want something new for like New Year's Eve, if you like black smoky eyes, 
get this. He will not regret it. Two palettes left from Natasha. We got the Yucca eyeshadow palette that came out this summer. And this was such a genius launch. In the amidst the freaking cream eyeshadow and whatever, no makeup, makeup, whatever bullshit people are into right now, she created a colorful palette that can be fun for people who love color and can be fun for neutral lovers. Like, isn't that absolutely genius? That's why this palette was like sold out, was so loved, and still is, and is a genius launch. I, I am in love with this. The shimmers are like nothing we've seen before from Natasha. The mattes are amazing. I love that we have a brown option, a green option. I love that we have mossy greens. I love this chartreuse shade. I this is such a unique shade. I absolutely love it. And the oranges, spectacular launch. Okay, lastly, I have uh, this Retro Glam palette, um, which launched, was it a year ago for Christmas? Yeah, because they marketed this as a Christmas palette, which, I mean, yeah, kind of retro Christmassy vibes, but at the same time, it's so much more spring to me <laughs> because of the pastels. I love it. I think it's a fun color story. There is definitely nothing like this color story on the market, and that's why I appreciate this palette. I want to use it sometimes when I want to have some fun uh, or when I want the muted kind of minty greens. I love the shimmers here. I'm not so sure about these two shimmers. Like, why isn't one of them just a dark brown matte? Like, that would have made... Oops this palette like just so much more valuable to me the pinks are also fun uh i like this palette it's not my favorite from natasha denona but i appreciate the color story as a as a colorful palette lover let's get to the goods oh my god my pat mcgrath mothership collection i have five eyeshadow palettes out of however many 11 motherships and the reason being is that i just don't want any others i just don't like the other color stories they're all pink so I don't need them. This is all I need, unless this year, next year in 2024, she comes out with something colorful, fingers crossed. All right, so we got the first palette. This is actually the first one that I bought and the first one that she came out with, Subliminal Mothership One. Spectacular color story, so ahead of its times and very, very much in style and trendy right now. Cool tones, beautiful dual chrome, blue shimmers, black, uh, is it black? Is it a dark, dark brown? I think it's black. There's nothing like this palette. So good. So, so, so good. Obsessed. Mothership number three, Subversive. The most unique color story out of all of the motherships. I still, to this day, deeply, deeply love this guy. Uh, so unique. So inspiring to me. So gorgeous. I love using brown or black all over my lid and then top it off with one of these shimmers because they're all like trio-chrome and so beautiful. Also, just this gorgeous sparkling black. And yeah, it is a very unique, very beautiful color story. Very inspiring, very fun to use. Smoky, holiday makeup. This is your best friend. Next up, we got, I believe this is Mothership 5 the bronze palette. This is my fall slash Thanksgiving eyeshadow palette. I use it every year for Thanksgiving. It could also be Christmassy. I love how unique this beautiful plum shade is. I love these two shimmers. They are spectacular. And of course, of course, all of the goods are in these um, special formulations from Pat McGrath. This red, this spectacular Mm, these shimmers are everything. I love this palette. And also this is very approachable for people who love neutral shades because of all of the browns and just very, very wearable colors. If I cover the red, you can see that. Gorgeous. I know that it's a bestseller and a lot of people love it and I totally understand why. Two, I love these boxes. They are so gorgeous. So this is the mothership number. I totally blacked out nine, ten. Utop 9, right? Utopian Dreams palette. Anyways, this is just so yummy. And this is the only color story, like pink color story mothership that I own. And I, in my humble opinion, think that it is the best one. Better than the um, whatever Divine Rose ones. And uh, this year's complete uh, disaster. <laughs> Dare I say it? Disaster. All right, so yeah, I'm just, I'm feeling a lot of feeling towards where Pat McGrath Labs is going. So I just, uh, I need to not speak about it. Anyways, this palette though, of the mattes, even though it's really, it's really not the best variety, right? It's the same pinks and a little bit of pop of 
squirrel. But what they did with these shimmers here is something we've never seen before. I love, look how glittery these are. This is an incredible multi-chrome. This is a beautiful gold. And these are just kind of wearable, guys. In love with this palette. Whenever I think of a pinky or purpley look or a glittery, grim, glimmery look, I, I always reach for this. Also, whenever I do makeup on somebody else, for some reason, I always reach for this palette. Unless I'm doing like a simple brown look with the Makeup by Mario palette, this is the palette I reach for. And last but not least, this is the Mothership 10 from 2022, which is my favorite Mothership. Uh, by the way, Moonlit Seduction. I honestly, when I first saw the pictures, I remember being a bit underwhelmed. But I ended up purchasing this maybe a bit later, maybe when there was a discount or something. And boy, I'm so happy I did. This is a phenomenal palette. Yes, the mattes are limiting. There is warm shades and one dark brown. But at the same time, what you can do with these shimmers is just spectacular. Beautiful silver sparkling shade. This incredible red to blue dual tree chrome, multi chrome, whatever. This shade is like nothing I've seen before in my life. And then these beautiful sparkly shades. This is also kind of like a holiday palette for me. Uh, kind of like a special event palette for me. Whenever I do looks with it, I feel really, really beautiful and gorgeous. Drawer number five, you guys. Drawer number six only has individual shades. So this is the last of the palettes. Lots of ColourPop, lots of Morphe. Let's get into it. I honestly don't want to get rid of ColourPop palettes. I have so many of them, but I love them. This is Lost in the Wonderland, the collab with Alice in Wonderland. Honestly, I look at this and it's so inspiring, but whenever I use it, um, I just come out with the same pastel look, which is good. So I <laughs> definitely want to keep it, but I haven't played with these two shades and I find them so unique for this palette. So definitely want to keep this. Oh, here's one I can probably declutter. This is the collab with High School Musical, even though it's so fun um, and so cute. I feel like I just don't use it enough and I never reach for it. So I feel like somebody else will enjoy it more. I'm gonna declutter this one. Next we got these two, the Mandalorian palette. Oof, great palette. This was one of the first eyeshadow palettes with gray tones that I had. So I was super excited. I love it. And this one, I think I love even more. This is the Child palette. Yeah, the Child palette. You can see how well used it is. I love olive tone greens. I love browns. I love everything about it. It's super cute. I'm keeping these two. I also bought these myself. Like I haven't received this in PR. So that kind of plays a role here. Next, we got the High Tide palette by ColourPop. Oh, this is one of my most favorite palettes. Like, look at that sea green color story. Insane. It creates such a gorgeous look on my eyes. I'm definitely, definitely keeping it. Next, we got the Daisy Does It eyeshadow palette from ColourPop. And this one um came kind of broken to me and it was it came to me in PR. So I wasn't too frustrated and like I didn't ask for an exchange or anything. I am not the biggest fan of this palette. Yes, it's spring, yellow, green, pink, cute, but to be honest, I just don't like it that much. So I'm gonna declutter this one. Next I have, so this is the palette that I was talking about when I was decluttering other box and palettes. Even though this one is powdery as hell, not powdery, how do you call it? Like the shadows are so loosely pressed that they go like everywhere. Even though that happens, I just love the concept of this palette and it looks really cute on the eyes. So I'm gonna keep it. I love the three little quads with neutrals and pops of pink. And this is the Baxam eyeshadow palette that I am going to keep. This is one more palette from that brand that uh, does not exist anymore. So fun, but I just can't hold on to these palettes anymore. This is being decluttered. The lining Gilded Flora palette should not be in this drawer. It should go up to the other drawer with affordable eyeshadow palettes where other Milani palettes are. And this is one of my favorite spring palettes. Look at that color story. Like, are you uh, actually joking? These Milani palettes are slept on. Get yourself one and enjoy it. Super good quality. Amazing, amazing. Keeping this and I will put it in the fourth drawer. Got the ColourPop and Sailor Moon collab. This is the rec most recent collaboration. I purchased this myself. It's a cute eyeshadow palette. 
Um, it's cute. It's good quality. I'm gonna keep it. I love Sailor Moon. That's all I cared about when I was like 12. So yeah, definitely a keep. Next we got That's Taupe. And this is a good eyeshadow palette as far as I know. As you can see, I haven't touched it. This color story is right up my alley and it inspires me so much. I will keep it and I will see if my mom wants it when she comes visit and I will give it to her. As you, as you probably already understood, my mom is really into makeup as well, so that kind of helps. So I'll probably give it to her if she wants it. Um, if not, I'll keep it for myself and find a time to use it. This is an eyeshadow palette from ColourPop that I've always wanted to try. And a couple months back, they asked me if I wanted to try something from their collection other than the PR collections that they sent me. And I chose this one. And guess what? I haven't tried it. Have I? No, I have. I have totally created a smoky brown with this one. Yes. Such a cute concept. Such a cute palette with beautiful neutrals. Shimmery, glimmery shimmers. Soft mattes. Yes. Keeping this. Love it. Take a look at this palette. This is by Tarte. This is the only palette by Tarte that I own. Other ones that I loved like six, seven years back were decluttered in my previous declutter because they were too old. But just look at the story. Isn't this fall in a palette? It is as yummy and as good as it looks in the palette, right? Like, I love this gold. I love the greens. Yes, it's not the most revolutionary eyeshadow color story or formula. And it's not better than Huda Beauty or Natasha Denona or Pat McGrath. And it costs a pretty penny. As far as I know, it's over 50 bucks for this palette. But I love it. It's really good. It's really cute. I love Tarte. I honestly love a lot of stuff from Tarte, and I purchased this myself, and I will keep using it. Okay, let's start getting into a little bit of Morphe. This is their newest, well, my newest addition to my collection from Morphe. This is the Tease the Season palette. Um, again, nothing revolutionary. Pretty gorgeous, actually, holiday palette with the burgundies, the golds, the neutrals, and the cool tones as well. I created that beautiful burgundy smoky eye that a lot of you guys loved um, in a, my short videos I created with this palette. So the blendability is amazing. Listen, if you know how to work with Morphe shadows, they're going to be great. It's, it's not that hard. You just need to know how to work with them. So definitely a keep. I love this palette. Next, we got the ColourPop and Harry Potter collection. And there's no way I will ever get rid of this because I'm a big Harry Potter fan. This palette is cute. Um, I haven't really used a lot of the colorful shades from here, just the neutrals. And I just haven't had a chance. Like, it's not often that you're like, oh, I'm going to use the Harry Potter collection palette today. You know what I mean? But I love it. I want to use more of this. This is super, super cute. Definitely a keep. Really gorgeous packaging this is one of my favorite palettes by, by ColourPop it's huge probably looks gross on the inside because I use this one a lot so please don't judge it's not that gross I love this this is cool tones done right cool tones done before it was cool haha <laughs> pun intended I absolutely adore this it has a little bit more pink leaning cool tones neutrals total grays just oh such a good palette it has beautiful deep shades here, a black, a deep brown, a deep mauve. It has beautiful white and uh, cream shade and amazing shimmers. This is my favorite palette from ColourPop. I think so. Yeah. And I did buy it myself. Did I? No. I got, I got it sent in PR. So I'm lying to you, but I would buy it myself. I adore this one. So yeah, that was a keep. All right, Moira. <laughs> We're not done with Moira yet. Moira, this, these are the two latest um, launches, and they've sent me both palettes, and they're very fun. Listen, this is a lot of fun. I have not tried this one. I did try the other one. But this, yeah, I have not tried this. This is fun for me. I'm kind of confused by the color story because it's like, where do I even begin? Like, why green? I don't know. They, they create really fun color stories, and I appreciate that, so I'm definitely keeping this. Oops, I just ruined a shade no biggie definitely keeping this and i'm gonna try it sometime and this other one is more more of the same but like blue green more blue and green leaning color story but it has some neutrals so i found this one more approachable and i used it uh i love it gorgeous look at those shimmers mm -mm -mm. so yummy keep a palette from the brand called lamel um this is a definitely a ukrainian owned and like based company 
they're also like they're also like in Britain or something and you can buy them on Amazon so the thing is that they're not very expensive but they're great 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 quality I knew of them uh, way back when and they're really great brand this eyeshadow palette is also a little bit all over the place like I don't understand the color story but I enjoy the quality on this and I love their um, pencil liners I love their um, mascaras they're really good good brand not a lot of people talk about them. maybe they're more popular in Europe that's that's the thing yeah they're probably more popular in Europe but they're really fun and I do do, do love um, this palette it's gorgeous a little more from Colourpop and Morphe we got the Hocus Pocus 2 collaboration that uh, they came out with last year I want to say last Halloween I love this color story it's so simple you pick a row you create a look I love how colorful yet neutral this is. I don't have a lot of Halloween eyeshadow palettes in my collection because I'm not a Halloween person. Um, so I'm going to keep this because every year, you know, I I, I get into the Halloween spirit, spirit and I still want to do some looks. And so this is what I reach for and it's just super cute. So definitely keeping this. It's an eyeshadow palette in collaboration with Nar Naruto. Naruto, I don't know how to say that. The guy who runs. Never seen anything. I don't know who that is. So don't judge me, but um, I think I'm going to declutter this one just because this doesn't mean anything to me. And um, it's cute. It's good quality. I love the color story. It's quite similar to the Harry Potter palette. So I'm honestly not um, missing out on anything if I declutter this. And somebody else might enjoy this eyeshadow palette more. I have the Matte Essential by Morphe Cool Tones. They had a warmer version. I think I already decluttered that one. Um, so this is a gray toned and like cool toned palette without shimmers, like only mattes. I created a look, a look with it and it was honestly really good quality. I do not mind this palette at all. However, I own these tones over and over again and this palette is pretty bulky and heavy and I just don't need it in my collection. So I'm going to declutter this one. I have been doing really well in this declutter session i think because i'm filming it typically i only declutter like one or two palettes but because i have to be accountable and i need to show it to you guys i'm decluttering like everything i'm so excited palette in this drawer and i already know i'm not going to declutter this up till dawn by morphe i actually adore this color story i think it's so fun i think it's so inspiring the fact that obviously it's a large palette but the fact that it's so cohesive even though it's pink and green and blue and brown and burgundy and and you know it's so good i love this palette i love how it performs i love how it's inspiring to me and it's so fun so i'm definitely keeping it okay so here's this last drawer that i was talking about it's just single shadows and i think i'm not going to film it i'm just gonna go through this and show you the final result and then i'm gonna show you all of the palettes that i'm decluttered that i've decluttered today and we're gonna say goodbye all right team here are all of the little individual shadows that i decluttered and here are all of the eyeshadow palettes 23 round of applause 23 eyeshadow palettes is a massive massive declutter for me i am so proud of myself thank you for hanging out with me i'm excited to have all of this decluttered to make space for new palettes let me know if this was a fun video for you to watch let me know if you would like to see a video on ranking of all of my eyeshadow palettes so everything that we put back in those drawers there ranking of all of them i think i would have fun talking about my palettes a little bit more let me know if you would be interested in that video and see you in the next one bye